Hello, and welcome to part 35 of my Let's Play series of videos for Dwarf Fortress. This is Sippy Cup. Hopefully you've watched part 34, because this video is going to be a continuation of that. Um, what I have here is a really scary embark, which is a beach that is also haunted, and has two layers of aquifer. So I am pretty sure I won't make it even a year, because um, you know I'm bad at this game, and also this is a crazy embark, but it'll be fun. Uh, I'm also going to take advantage of this opportunity to show you guys a way to start without any tools whatsoever um, and make steel uh, implements, so a steel battle axe and a steel pick. This technique I got from the Magma Wiki actually, df.magmawiki.com. This is the elf hater, um, the user elf hater has a guide called how to start with steel without paying much for it or something along those lines. So props to him for putting that together. I'm basically just following the steps that he's laid out. Just to recap on what we did, we basically embarked with um, in the usual collection of you know food and drinks and things like that. We got rid of all of the picks, all of the axes, a lot of the wood stuff to free up some points, um, and we made sure to grab two um, fire safe stones, or well flux stones in this case, I believe I took dolomite I took two iron ores, so that was um, magnetite, I believe. So depending on which dwarf civilization you have, you might have to take something else instead of magnetite. I forget what the other iron ores are, but something like limonite, maybe? I don't remember exactly. Anyway, so we embarked. The very first thing that we did... Oh, we grabbed some trees, too. That's an important part. Uh, you need to start with some wood. Um, so I took... Um, as soon as I embarked, I basically deconstructed the wagon to get some extra wood. And then I built this wood furnace up here using one of the dolomite, or actually I think it was marble, if I remember correctly. Um, I used one of the marble to build this furnace. So what we're doing now is we're making one ash and seven charcoals, and then once we have those done, we're actually going to deconstruct this furnace and build a smelter, and then smelt some iron and turn those into steel. So the next thing that I'm going to do real quick here is just set up a stockpile for bar block so that I have somewhere to put the bars that get produced from this wood furnace here. So I'm hoping that I don't get attacked by any crazy beasts. Oh, it looks like so far there, there's only groundhogs around and I'm not too worried about those. But So um, now let's resume and I believe I've used Dwarf Therapist to get this um, get the labors enabled. Yeah, so this guy's over here making this ash. So you can see the beach here. It's pretty cool. Uh, I think Captain Duck did a nice um, tutorial fortress where he had uh, a beach embark, and it looks really nice. It's cool. You kind of see the crashing waves. It's very, very nice. But as you might imagine, I'm sure that there's a huge water table. You know, one of the aquifer levels, I think, will be... What is this guy doing? He's just playing in the surf, I guess. Um, so yeah. Anyway, you can check on this guy's status here. Okay, so he's working on that, making those blocks. So anyway, I'm going to pause for a minute until this guy gets done, and then we'll move on to the next step. So actually, while this is going, I might as well build a uh, carpenter's workshop so that I can start making some wood stuff, uh, including a wooden training axe, so that our <coughs> woodcutter can start cutting down some trees while we're in the process of building him a steel battle axe. So let's just go ahead and do a workshop, and we'll do a carpenter's workshop here. And let's put it here for now. Make it out of something that we don't need to use. So I'll take some of these oak logs that I brought along, and then somebody will come over and build that. Once that's done, we'll add a new task, and we'll do a wooden training axe. And he's going to come make one of those. And once he's done that, I believe that's actually our one of these guys is our woodcutter. So let's see. So I think he just ran and picked up the axe. So now I can designate some of these trees to get chopped down. And we'll get some extra wood. And then we'll also create a wood stockpile. And start making some beds and stuff. Why not? 
So there he goes, yeah, he got his wooden training axe. I always thought that was really funny that you can cut down trees with wooden axes. Alright, so I think this guy is just about done here. Yeah. So once he makes that last unit of charcoal, we'll have one unit of ash and seven units of charcoal. Then we're going to deconstruct this and we're going to use the ash to build a smelter. So there, it looks like we're done. Okay, so now let's deconstruct this building and we'll get our building materials back. That's one nice thing about this game is that you can always reclaim the things that you build a building out of. Okay, so let's pause for a sec. So there's our marble that we used to build that building. So we're now going to build a smelter, which is also a furnace. Smelter. Might as well just build it right here where we had the other thing. Use the ash to build the smelter this time. The reason that we want to use the ash and not the marble is that the marble is a flux stone, which we're going to use to produce a steel. So obviously, if we use the marble to build the smelter, we can't use the marble to make the steel. So we use the ash that we build. So there's that. And we'll resume. And he's going to come build this smelter. He's getting that marble out of the way. Is this done yet? Needs masonry. Here's my mason. Okay, so there's my smelter. Alright, so first thing I want to do is smelt the magnetite ore, both of them. And then... Let me pause for once. Okay, I just had to double check and make sure I'm doing this right. Yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to make... We're going to smelt two iron ores, then we're going to smelt one of them into pig iron, and then we're going to produce one unit of steel. Actually, yeah. Alright, so let's do this here. So my guy with furnace operating should come up here and smelt these bad boys. Let's pause for a sec. Okay, so I got the two iron bars. I'm going to make one pig iron bar. And then I guess I actually want to make two units of steel, I think. I'm going to check how many of everything we have in a second. Let me go to the stocks screen. Okay, so let's see. Alright. So we go here. Let's go to stocks. Let's see what bars we have here. Okay, so we've got one iron bar, one pig iron bar. Actually, yeah, three charcoal and ash. Okay. So actually, I think when you smelt these, it produces two units of steel, I'm pretty sure. Let me just confirm. Because, yeah, you don't take two bars and get one bar out of it. You get, you're basically mixing the metals. It's like an alloy. All right, and then, uh, let's see, let's go ahead and make steel here. And make a steel bar. And this guy should come smelt this. And then I'll just double check and make sure what we have is two steel bars. Yep, so we've got two steel bars. That makes sense, right? So you have one iron bar and one pig iron bar. You basically melt them together. It makes a, an alloy. And then you end up getting the same amount of material back, but it's just mixed iron and pig iron, which makes steel. So you have two steel bars. So now we have one charcoal, one ash, two steel bars. So I believe the next step, what we're going to need to do is actually deconstruct that smelter, build a furnace, make another unit of charcoal as fuel and then we're going to um, produce the tools that we need so let me double check on this real quick yeah so we need to deconstruct this smelter let's remove that then uh, once that's done we're going to make a metalsmith's forge Okay. So let's build workshop metalsmith's forge. Do 
right there. Use that iron anvil we bought, and we're going to use the ash, not the steel, obviously. So here comes the dude's going to put this together for us. All right, so there's my metalsmith's forge. I'm going to make one steel axe, steel battle axe. So this, the way I'm doing it, um, assumes that you didn't make a carpenter's workshop to make a wooden training axe because it assumes that you're going to need this steel battle axe to cut down the trees. So I probably could have done this in a different order, but whatever. I mean, say, suppose you embarked somewhere where there was no wood, for instance. Um, if I had been a real man, or a real dwarf, I suppose I would have embarked somewhere where there was no resources of any kind and my dwarfs had to eat dirt to live. But uh, anyway, so let's uh, go ahead and see what happens here. So this guy is going to come one of these guys is a weaponsmith. One of the miners, if you remember, one is an armorsmith and one's a weaponsmith. So one of them is going to make this axe. I suppose I'll make a stockpile for weapons, why not? Weapons, weapons, P, here we go. I'm going to make a little stockpile here. Okay, so there's my steel battle axe. And so at some point, I suppose my woodcutter guy will come grab this. Maybe if I designate some more trees to get cut down, he'll grab his better axe. Well, I guess he just is content to use his wood one for now. Anyway, so now that we've done that, we want to deconstruct the metalsmith's shop. Then we're going to build a wood furnace with the ash. We're going to make another charcoal, which will be a fuel to produce the pick that we need. So let's, oops, let's build um, furnace. Wood furnace. Let's go ahead and make that here using the ash, not the steel bar. Okay, so this is going to get built right here. Just a moment. There's a wood furnace. We're going to burn a one charcoal. I've got a few trees, so why not? I'll just make a couple charcoal to have some extra. So whoever has a furnace operating skill will come over here and burn this and make charcoal for me. Then I'm going to deconstruct this, and I'm going to make the workshop, the metalsmith shop again, and then I'll make a pick, a steel pick, and then my miner can start mining. Uh, however, at that point, I will actually need to dig down and get access to some uh, ores before I can produce another pick. So let's see, is this guy almost done here? Should be just about done. Alright, so there our furnace is done. So let's remove this. Somebody will come get rid of this. Okay, we'll go ahead and build the whoops metalsmith's forge again. We'll build it right here with the iron anvil, and we'll use the ash again because we don't want to use the steel bar. And I realize this is really complicated, um, but again, the guide is actually published on the Magma Wiki. So if you go to df.magmawiki.com and do a search for like starting builds, um, the one all the way down at the bottom is called Elf Haters how to start with steel for without paying a lot or something along those lines. You should be able to recognize it pretty easily. Anyway, okay, so let me pause. I'm going to come over here. We're going to build a weapon, steel, pick, and resume. And somebody will come here and make the pick. And then for actually less than it costs to start with the copper implements, we now have one steel battle axe and one steel pick. So the steel battle axe will make an excellent weapon and the steel pick is a lot better than the regular copper pick that you start with. So let's see, have we completed that? Yep. So somebody should come take this to the stockpile in a minute. Anyway, I'm running out of time, so that's it for now. Um, in the next episode, I should start actually digging down and doing some fun stuff. So I hope you are enjoying.